Good morning, everybody. Hope you guys are having an awesome day and an amazing life. Today is an amazing day because it's Friday, it's Juma. I'm back in Delaware going to my favorite masjid. You guys know that I've been camping for like the past couple of weekends. First, I was in Denver, then Portland, and then we drove down to the Redwoods. And my daughter wasn't with me, my wife wasn't with me. Uh, and when I got back, when I was showing all of the pictures and the vlogs to my daughter, she kept saying like, you know, I want to go camping. I want to go camping with you. So we're going to be driving down south of Delaware, camping in a place called Trap Pond State Park. And I wanted to remind all my Muslim viewers that on Friday, please make sure that you take out, you know, 30 to 40 minutes, maybe an hour, you know, read Surah Kaf. Really, just read Surah Kaf. It will provide a light for you for the whole week from this Friday to the next inshallah and so you know it's really important to read Surah Kaf we get so caught up you know in our uh, in our lives and putting our work first and our families first and you know it's important to on Fridays especially just take out 30-40 minutes for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and just read Surah Kaf Just finished up praying. It's gonna probably be one of my last times coming to this masjid, so it's kind of a bittersweet day today. Tell you guys why later. I want to share with you guys a piece of knowledge that uh, I just learned from the khutbah. He he was just reminding us that one of the most difficult things for for us as Muslims is to accept the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is the destiny the destiny that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has for each and every single one of us so a lot of us you know we go through our lives and we have tribulations you know we have moments of calamities of, of hardships and it is at those times that we kind of forget that you know we're not alone you know that it's not as if we're free falling uh, without anyone there to catch us so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always with us in the good times and in the hard times. And so the Imam was saying that there are people who go through life with a lot of hardships thinking that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates me or he's angry with me. And then people go through uh, their lives who have their kids, who have a good house and no tribulation in their life. Their lives are very easy thinking, well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must really love me. And so uh, it's a switch of mentality, you know, to to realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love isn't that He's showering you with all of these worldly possessions. His love comes from testing us. And so those people who have test after test after test in their lives really have to uh, think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really loves them. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not test someone unless he, he really loves them. Because what is a test? What is a calamity? What is a tribulation but a blessing? It's a blessing for many reasons. One, it it brings us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It shocks us from our everyday you know lives, the mundane cyclical lives, and it shocks us and, and tells us, you know, wait, our lives have a purpose greater than whatever we might think. So so it is for these reasons that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he puts those that he loves in calamities. And one amazing reason is to purify us. Because as a Muslim, we know that our abode, our final destination is not in this world. You know, we're not uh, striving for paradise in this dunya. We are striving for paradise in the hereafter. When it's an eternity of blessing. And so we know, we know that, but sometimes we forget because we're human beings and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us of that fact when He puts us into a tribulation, into a calamity. So how beautiful is it that a life of a Muslim is never, uh, there's never really any bad in it. Because even the bad is a blessing and the good is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I want to give a huge thanks to that one subscriber who subscribed today. Uh, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Amazing Life family. I'm up to 53 subscribers, which is, you know, a lot of people say, well, that's nothing, you're, you're nowhere. But you know what? I go for quality over quantity, and every single one of you 53 subscribers who watch my videos, you guys are all people of quality. Thank you, thank you so much for subscribing. All right, let's go. You ready for uh, camping? Ready. You ready? Wow. Have you ever put your huh? This is 
a this is a good this is really uh, an important thing you know before you leave the house you know do a quick check uh, do a quick check before you leave the house for this very reason check this out hmm I think my wife probably might need that phone huh what do you guys think uh, you forgot this Ladley hello <laughs> and we are off for family camping time Woo! Woo delicious they have all of these cool uh, homemade bakery items here it's amazing well, also the cakes you got breads look at this stuff over here look at this man it's amazing look at this cookies wow and it's all by like run by Amish Amish folk so it's amazing yeah man there's a lot of stuff here there's all sorts of goodies oh wow check this out guys they got this humongous dog bone it's like for Clifford they got these smoked beef dog bones too <laughs> wow that thing is huge We got some goodies, we got some alpai, got some uh, whoopee uh, cookies or something like that. Got some other stuff for tonight's uh, barbecue. Next stop, campsite. So this farmer's market is called Lancaster County Farmer's Market. And it's here in Dover, in Delaware. So if you guys are ever passing through Dover, highly recommend checking it out. It's amazing. And everything, uh, we asked the lady in there, the Amish lady in there, everything is homemade. And that's something that they pride themselves in. So definitely check them out and support that homemade goodness. We're here! <laughs> let me help you out. Yeah, let me help you out, okay? Come on, let's go. We're finally here. Feels good to be out of the car. You excited? I am so excited. This is our first time camping as a family, actually. Here we are right here. Huh? It's very hot and very muggy today. I like to actually do camping when it's a little cooler out because when it's cooler, you don't have many bugs. When it gets really hot like this, you have insects everywhere. Like I ran into like a humongous spider web, two spider webs already. There's huge bugs in the bathroom. And uh, yeah, I don't do bugs. <laughs> I actually, my biggest fear is bugs and I don't like them, so. I do. Let's have a camp. Okay. Okay. Let's have a bit then, man. You got my cousin now. Thank you. We need this to level. Okay, so uh, we set up the tent, there she be, and now we got the firewood, about to start the fire. The problem that we're having right now is, since it's so hot and so humid, exactly, <laughs> and there are a million bugs, there's spiders, there's <laughs> horse flies, there's ticks, there's mosquitoes, there's all sorts of other critters that we have no idea, and uh, unfortunately, us, all of us, <laughs> we are equally scared of insects, so, you know, it's gonna be an interesting night. I'm hoping in the night, it gets a little cooler, we get the fire started, the smoke from the fire uh, <laughs> saves us from the bugs, from the bugs. <laughs> Oh, 
No, there's no spiders. I'll be cleaning it up. There's no spiders now. Come on. Hold my hand. Come on. Good job. Big girl. Ready? Jump. Whoosh. Okay. Yes. What was that? Oh, this just fell. Zainab, here they go. See this? This is a pine cone. See that? And it fell from all the way up there. From this tree. Just to illustrate how hot it is right now. No, I did not take a shower. This is just sweat. Oh my god, just by starting this fire, I am like drenched, drenched in sweat right now. The outdoors, gotta love it, but you also gotta not love it sometimes. <laughs> They're everywhere, look at this guy. Okay, let me show you corn gets up and them. Okay? Right here, next to the fire. Get it nice and close. And we're just gonna turn it every five minutes. We're gonna turn the side, okay? Ah, got my little chair here, you know. Ah, in the outdoors. <laughs> Here's the fan right here. <laughs> Enjoying the uh, outdoor experience. It got a little cooler. The sun's about to set. Oh